All right, guys, so you want to be able to do a nice gaming crossfire system without breaking the bank. Here you go, it's a Diamond Radeon HD 3870 overclocked card. It's 512 megs of RAM, just like the regular one, GDDR4 with 320 stream processors. Looking at the specs on this one, I'm gonna give you the base clocks first and then the overclocked ones, which are on this card, just to show you what the uh, difference between them is. On your base uh, reference system, you've got a uh, 1125 megahertz memory clock and a 775 megahertz core clock. This card here is the overclocked edition. They've doubled the memory clock on it. It's up to 2250. The core gets a slight increase up to 800 megahertz, but the memory is really where it's at. The card also has the HDCP for the Blu-ray support on the PCI Express 2.0 bus, along with the Crossfire X uh, support on it as well. Let's take a look down here. There's that PCI Express connector I was talking about. Nice big old heatsink, all copper under there with the nice copper heat pipes. That's great for keeping everything nice and cool. Uh, transfers a lot of heat right up to the top there so it can be blown right out through the little chimney port there. Now, as far as connectors, you get your pretty standard DVI, again, as you see on all, pretty much all the high-end cards with it, along with the S-Video connector. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this around to the back. Now this one, you do need a minimum 450 watt power supply, but you probably wanna be quite a bit higher than that. Also, it does have, require the six pin connector. So you need to make sure the power supply has that, although it does come with an adapter for it just to cover you if you don't have it, but you'd rather use those uh, if you've got it. Um, as far as the little uh, things that come along with it, here is your DVI to HDMI adapter. Again, those are uh, pretty much standard things along with the Crossfire connector. One nice thing that they are giving you in here, um, a lot of the ATI cards are coming with this now. This is a dual Molex to the six pin. Uh, that is, if you do not have the six pin connector on your power supply, it does give you an option there, but you wanna try and get a power supply with it because otherwise you're losing two other uh, important connectors. Let's take a look at uh, some of the benchmarks here. I've got a couple of games uh, here that we've got benchmarked. Uh, Half-Life 2 is the first game that we're gonna talk about. Uh, that one running at 1920 by 1200. This card pulled off a whole 133 frames a second, which is great performance out of the card there for it. Crisis, gotta talk about it. That's what everyone's comparing everything to. That is the new uh, standard for uh, performance on a graphics card. 1920 by 1200, this card managed to crank out 31 frames a second on its own. That is not in crossfire. So put the two of those together, you're gonna get a much better result out of this thing. Great card for your mid, even up to the high-end gaming. Great card on a budget too. You can pop out two of these, get some great performance all around on the whole system and it's not gonna break the bank to do it. Great card, uh, probably the best value in its price range. Um, about wraps it up there. This is the Diamond Radiant HD uh, 3870 overclock card. It's about all I've got for you today, so I'm gonna head on out of here. See you next time. All right guys, for more information on the Diamond Radiant HD 3870 overclock edition, head right over to compusa.com, type D10-3870 in the search bar, or you can give us a call 24 hours a day, seven days a week at 1-800-COMPUSA.